Hello everyone. Excuse this horrible glare. It is in the evening. I don't like to film in the evening, but life has been just crazy. I really wanted to share this with you today. I got from a Wow Embossing some really fun mixed media type stamps. Um, this is such a fun, sketchy type one. Uh, in fact, it's called Layered Flesh Elements, along with their their embossing pad. Um, embossing pad. I love that because it's super slow drying, so it has plenty of time to heat set. And then this fun one, look how cute that is. And this one is Twinkle and Love. I love this. And then um, I also picked up this confetti straw too. Um, some of their white smooth cardstock. This is a really great size. It is the A4, and so it is 8.27 by 11.79 inches, which means it's a bit larger than our American traditional uh, size that we're, we're used to being up by 11. And then the fun stuff. I have this um, mixed media embossing brush, so you can lay this down and put the embossing powder on. Um, I have crystals, so this is actually um, a crystal that you can mix in with your embossing powder, which is called crystal. Um, sparkle and then I have the gray, the gray sky at night. So this is a lovely one, as well as midnight. That was so pretty. Uh, and then rock rebel. And then I also have right here twinkling. So these I'm going to make sure that I mix up really well before I start to emboss to make sure I get all of that fun stuff in there. And I'm going to show a couple different techniques on what you can do when you are using your embossing powder. The first thing I want to do is I want to create some card bases. So I'm just taking eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper, these, and I'm just going to cut them down the middle and I'll create some card panels for the front of them. So I have out my cutter right here and um, I'm just gonna take and cut them down, down the middle uh, by five and a half. So I'll get two five and a half by five and a half sheets. And then from here, I'm just gonna take and um, go ahead and um, score, <laughs> I can think. <laughs> score, it has been a day. Um, to score them. So I'm going to score them with a 4.25 mark. And what this is going to do is it is going to give me two A2 card fronts. Now I'm not going to create directly on these. I'm going to make some panels to go on them, but just wanted to let you know how you can actually make your own card bases. So as I go ahead and create through this, I'm going to update you guys a little bit of what's going on in my life and may I why I may be a little bit quiet um, throughout the next month or two. Um, so I'll, I'm going to um, go ahead and start to create. You can follow along. I'll have everything I'm using listed down below and uh, for your so you can find it real easily. I can't even think. It's just so crazy. So for this first one, I just want to play with this new medium to me. And I just take and apply this to the paper. Uh, and it's pretty thick. And it actually can be used also to re-ink your embossing inking powder. But I just am going to see what these new embossing powders are like for me. And so I'm going to layer them on. Um, and as you can tell, I just took and mixed that together with the end of my paintbrush. And I always like to save the rest of my embossing powder by using these tidy type trays because uh, it's you don't want to waste it at all. Then I'm going to use my um, embossing gun, not my heat gun, but my embossing gun, and just heat this up. And if I wanted to speed it up, I could have heat of the gun off on its own and come back and hit it once it was hot but instead I just hit, hit it right like that and it's going to stay nice and hot for the rest of this little um, demonstration and what I'm noticing is since this is a thick embossing type powder plus that embossing ink I laid down was so much it actually is moving really fun it's like dripping and I'm able to push it around with the air 
So I really had fun just moving this all over the place with my heat gun and just causing this to drip. What it does is once it cools, it does dry to a plastic and it allows it to do things like resist. And also I can ink over it and it doesn't want to to move. I'm not going to compromise the integrity of the color of that embossing powder. So look how fun that is. So it's still wet right now. And every time I reheat it, it will eventually melt and start to move around some more. So it stays wet for a bit because it is so thick. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay some more of my new medium out. It's so fun. I think, I think it was a Seth Abner that came out with this medium. It's so much fun though. And I really enjoy the background that I make. I actually filmed this a month ago and a lot has changed in my world. That's why there hasn't been much up. Um, I moved out of my house into an apartment. I'm going through a divorce. And so I'm getting a new bearing on life and I'm, I'm on the tail end of it now. Uh, my intention was to upload this, stay the statement, and then take like a month off to get settled, a month or two off. But now I'm on the other side of it. So I have ended up in another apartment. I have my, crave, my craft space, excuse me, set up, and I'm ready to make some more videos. I hope to start to do even more videos than I have in the past because my life has definitely calmed down. And I have um, one of my kids living with me. My kids are pretty much adults. So um, it's an adjustment. And I'm kind of in um, a little bit of a state of shock. But it's for the good. And uh, I'm just excited just to get back into my art. Some things you're going to notice here on my channel are cards, art journaling, and Bible art. That's going to be pretty... Um, pretty much done. That's what I've been doing in the past, but I have been scrapbooking. And one of the things with moving to a smaller space was I couldn't bring my entire craft room with me. I had to limit it down and that was a hard thing to do. So I have given up scrapbooking entirely since the move. When I first got into paper crafting, that's all I did was scrapbooking. And then later, years later, I got into card making. However, as time has gone on and we've used more digital art, more of our computers and social media to share and save and edit pictures, I don't print pictures as much. I just upload them to Instagram and whatnot, and I don't need to scrapbook that anymore. I can totally do a saying on my little um, description box on Instagram and good to go, you know. So that's what I have been doing is just uploading to Instagram and it'll always be there. And I just don't have the space nor the desire to scrapbook anymore. I've moved over into art journaling, Bible art and card making. And I actually really enjoy art journaling the most, but the card making videos I think are the most beneficial to make because you can show things like this, like different mediums you can play with. And, you know, you may be wondering, well, what the heck are you going to do with that? That's so weird. <laughs> That's looking so funny because I'm literally right now just playing with embossing powder and, and learning how this medium works, but I'm actually going to create something out of it. So I want to start to do more things like that. And I'm going to have time to do that. I also am teaching again. I was doing this full time and now I'm teaching. I teach English, English language arts. And so um, my schedule's changed a little bit and I hope to really get more into this on my breaks and things like that. So you're gonna, I hope you don't see too much of a change on my channels. Um, I hope you're able to see more content now than what I've been doing because I'm, I'm literally just coming out of that fog. I'm still in the fog. And if you've been through a divorce or anything, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, so I didn't even know if I was going to come out publicly about it or not, but I figured I, I might as well. I try not to pull any punches and I haven't gone for like a month because I've been dealing just with life, you know, and I'm so glad that 
you're back here with me and you're watching this video right now. So thank you for being patient and sticking with me as I go through this transition because it's been a transition. My entire world has slipped upside down. It's been so, so, so very crazy, but I think it's going to be for the best and it's going to be good. And I'm going to put on some music and just let you see how this all ends up as I go through this process. And you can just see this really cool background that I'm just creating and what I end up doing with it. Again, I'm going to have things listed down below for you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in that comment section down there. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my channel and um, watching things like this, you know, different ways to use art products and unboxings and how to do just different things in the paper crafting world. I'm your girl. So I hope you consider giving me a follow. All right. So let me finish this up and put on some music for you and I'll talk to you at the end. Quite sure what I was going to end up doing with that background, so I just took some letters and die cut them out, and I used those as the focal point for this next card. I'm using this really great star stencil and the wow embossing pad. I'm actually taking and I'm mixing some of that wonderful glitter that they gave me with that embossing powder and I actually uh, went ahead and blended out the stencil onto a piece of the white cardstock that they gave me, right? And then I'm just gonna hit it with a heat gun. And before I do that though, I like to take a, a soft bristle brush and just make sure that I get all of the extra little embossing powder grains off because once it sticks on, you can't move it. So it's important that you remove the loose powder flakes from the beginning. So this is a really great stencil because there's another portion of it that allows me to take and put my color on the inside of the star. And then after I do that, I there's another piece that you'll see in a minute that will actually mask over that star so that I can add more background color. And what I am essentially doing is I'm doing my background before I do my focal point. And then I will use my embossing powder to resist and just take and hit it with some water afterwards and it'll wipe up any of the ink that got on that embossing powder because it is like a plastic once it's finally embossed. If you don't like this vibrancy, I, I love a vibrant color, but if that doesn't really do it for you, go in, go in with a lighter hand, lighter touch, and you'll get a really, really fun, softer image. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, again, leave them down below. Make sure you check out my affiliate links provided for you in the description box. And then if you're not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do so. And then I also have a blog that I may or may not keep. So go check that out as well. It's www.betsgolden.com. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden. Happy crafting.